up guys welcome to our channel my name is jazz if you didn't know this is our vlog channel if you also didn't know but today we are doing a q and a we asked you guys on instagram what questions you want us to answer so we're just gonna go about our day and answer some questions so the first question is what are some of the best things you've experienced since living together i think the best thing is being able to do whatever we want whenever we want to do it and throwing parties. We throw so many parties. It's like kind of ridiculous how many parties we threw while we lived here. The other day, Mandi and Ink, they came and we surprised them. So actually here's a clip of us surprising them. I think this is like one of our favorite moments living in this apartment. Today, my sister's coming back from England for the first time since she got married. She got married in August. She moved to England. It's January now and she told us that she's coming back tomorrow so she could come back today and surprise us at the condo. But Ink, her husband, called us and he's like, yo, listen, we're coming back on Sunday and Madi wants to surprise you guys, but why don't you guys invite people over to your place and then when she comes to surprise you guys, you guys surprise her. So that's what's going down today. Jazz is back there going overboard like she always does with food. There's like six people coming, but there's food for like 27 people. I don't understand what's happening. And also we spent all day filming a video today. So today has been very productive. It's been very good, but about to be a good time. Shut the fuck up, what the hell? <laughs> you guys lied to what us! What the fuck is that? Yo, I'm coming tomorrow! Oh, Look at Ryan vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do it over here. You already know how we get down. That's how we do that. My acting game on point. Oh, my okay. acting game on fleet. Okay, all right. Play. All right. That's it. Who uh, told you? Right here. Oh, man. Right here. Oh, it's a double agent. Double agent. Yeah, I mean, you guys weren't surprised. Mm. <laughs> but you are. You are. That's what counts. Next question. Have you ever filmed a video after a huge fight, like pretending to be happy and you're not? Have we? I've been like a couple times. Probably. Sometimes we'll get into a fight in the middle of a shoot and then there's like bad vibes in the air and like we're barely talking. We're talking only in the scene and then when the scene is done, we just continue not talking. Then we go back into the next scene, back and forth, and then eventually, well, you know, stop working and talk about it. But it's never like a huge fight though. What are you doing? <laughs> Why did you guys change your outro theme song? The reason we changed it was because we just wanted to change. I think we were just evolving as, like our channel was evolving, we were changing our content. We are like, maybe it's time to change our song. I've been working away, don't care what they say. So our song is actually by Rajan, one of our homies. It's an unreleased song actually. So a lot of you guys are asking like, what? I can't find it, I can't find it, I can't find the song. It's unreleased, it's not even done yet. He just kind of made that part for us. So if you want it done, go hound him on like Instagram or whatever and tell him to get it done. But uh, yeah, let us know in the comments below if you prefer this new song or if you prefer our old song. I think I like new song, I feel like it just, it's going with our involvement uh, of YouTube TV. Our ah, involvement of YouTube TV, darling, dearest. You know how it is. Anyways, next question. Advice for people who don't know what career to choose. Oh, that's a good question. I feel like don't do something you don't love because it doesn't make sense to me. You know, you only live once. You can't live your entire life based upon the amount of money you make doing something. It should be about how happy something makes you. Whether that is like, you know, you, you can be happy being like an engineer. You can be happy being a plumber, a garbage man. You can be happy doing a bunch of things. Don't strive to have the best paying job of all time. Strive to have a job that makes you the happiest of all time. You know what I'm trying to say? I feel like happiness is the end goal of life. You should live a happy life, not a sad life. Jazz, I'm trying to be deep here. <laughs> I'm trying to be hella deep and you keep panning up and doing weird stuff. Wow, somebody needs to take out the garbage. Maybe you should go do that then. Cool, I'm gonna take you out right now. On a date? Okay. I'd like to tell everybody that heard you bought this keyboard and played it twice. Can you not roast me on the vlog, Jess? I'm gonna learn the piano. I'm gonna learn it. When? I'm gonna learn it, okay? I just haven't had the time, you know? I've been busy. I've been busy, you know, working, grinding on these videos, you know? You're gonna be busy playing Fortnite. We're gonna talk about this later, right? We're gonna talk off camera about this. Look at my suckies, guys. Hey! Wow. Why are you hiding your toes though? Show your toes on camera. No, they're so ugly. <laughs> Just show your toes. 
What was the scariest thing you've gone through as a couple? I think the scariest thing any couple has to go through is the pregnancy scare. Those are the worst. I feel like a lot of girls have been through this where they don't get their period. <laughs> And then you're like, oh shit, my period didn't come. And then you're like, oh no, why didn't my period come? And you're on Google and you're like, I haven't had my period. Now I'm craving things. I feel sick. And then you're like typing all this stuff and everything leads to you're pregnant, you're pregnant, you're pregnant. And then just you're just on the toilet and you're waiting for that pregnancy test to say you're pregnant and you're freaking out. And uh, yeah, that, that was probably the hardest thing we've ever gone through, even though I got my period the next day and I wasn't pregnant. But you know, you know, just the thought of it is terrifying because I'm not ready to have a kid right now. Not for a couple years, so. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you guys never kiss in your videos? Why don't we kiss in our videos? I don't know. I don't know. We just don't want to. Do people usually kiss in videos? I feel like that's like unnecessary PDA. Why do we have to kiss in the video? We already give you guys so much. Facts. We tell you guys our entire life. Um, you're not leaving it like that. It's not going in. God, because I don't even know push. Anyways, should we kiss on video? Mwah. There, we kissed. <laughs> So one of my favorite things living in this apartment is watching the dogs because we live right in front of a dog park. So our window just oversees 30 dogs playing all the time. It's so much fun. But anyways, I'm answer the next question while I stare at the dogs. How do you guys deal with negativity and not let it bring you down going through a rut? I'm the worst with dealing with negativity. I try to just not think about it and not let it affect me, but some days I just get really down. Like fat comments, oh my God, I get those all the time. Who taught you to go onto YouTube and call somebody fat? Do you want someone to come to your school and call you fat? Like that stuff just annoys me because it's just, when you're commenting about someone's appearance, it's like, what like something i'm so i feel so bad for you like something is going on with your life that that's not going right clearly so i try to just think of it that way if somebody's negative towards you it's because something's going on with their life and that means they're just taking it out on you so that's i try to think of it that way but sometimes it really does affect me and then i get really sad and i sit in my bed and i don't leave but yeah don't take it personally that's what i would recommend Name three things the other person can improve on. Three things that Jazz can improve on. I don't know how I'm gonna narrow it down to three. Wow. There's probably like 20 things. Wow. Let me just think. One of Jazz's biggest issues is putting her clothes away where they belong. If I show you her drawers right now, it's a complete disaster. No. It's a disaster. They're not folded, they're just like in there. She just takes them, throws them in, Close the drawer. I have zero explanation for that. <laughs> so uh, yes, I think I do need to improve on that. Another thing that Jazz can improve on is... What else can you improve on, Jazz? Jazz can improve on Fortnite because she's trash. I'm actually not that bad. Uh, thing is, I play on a Nintendo Switch and you have this big ass screen to play on. So when we play together, it's kind of difficult. It's not about, because... it's not about the size of the screen or the console. Okay, it's, it's just about, you know, aiming at the person and killing him. Okay, yeah, I can improve on Fortnite. <laughs> and one more thing, the third thing you can improve on is... That's it. I only got two things. Yay. I only got two things, that's it. Jazz is perfect, other than that. Blech. The next question is, what's your favorite thing about being a YouTuber? There's a lot. I love being a YouTuber because I get to do whatever I want. I get to create content every single day. I get to write, because I've always wanted to be a writer, so I get to write scripts every day. I get to film, I get to act, because I want to be an actress. So basically, every single day I'm practicing things that I want to achieve in the future, like being a writer and being an actress, so it's, great experience and then it's awesome because it's my job and i love it and me and harji get to spend 24 hours together which surprisingly doesn't drive me crazy so i think that's my favorite thing <laughs> being a youtuber the last question is where is it where is it where is it which place would you go for your next holiday Ooh, hawaii. hawaii jamaica hawaii 
But we might go to Cancun though. Yeah, like before Hawaii. We're just gonna go to Cancun because we just wanna go somewhere hot. But yeah. then the next place we really wanna go is Hawaii. Like if we could go to the place we really wanted to go, it would be Hawaii. But Cancun is just closer. Yeah, Hawaii is like a long, expensive flight. And if we go to Hawaii, I feel like we'll stay there for like four or five days. Yeah. But we're going to Cancun for like two days. Or two days. days. Just, just to get away from the snow, away from the cold. So There's extreme cold warning right now in yeah. Canada, so. Not fun. But Hawaii. Yeah. Hawaii. And that's it. Ten questions done. Let us know in the comments if you have any more questions. Make sure you follow us on social media. Make sure you stay true to you. Stop giving a fuck. And we're going to holla at you, you know, next time. Peace. I've been working away. Don't care what they say. I do what I want. Deserve what I make It's fuck what they say Do what I want And I don't care what they say Cause I've been